everything uh, system-wise looks good. Yeah, system-wise look good. I mean, this thing is still... Ugh. God. Well, to be fair, <sighs> we didn't know what was going to happen when we yeah. messed with yeah, him. Yeah, you think? That is a, here's a deal. There's no, there's no chassis to work with. It's just bundles of wire on top of one another. I'm going to be honest, I'm impressed that you were able to construct limbs. <laughs> yeah, well, there's still something there for me to work with. The only um, way we can really get him fixed up is if we ever actually, you know, yeah. move him to a different body. That's up to him if he wants that. I think for now this will work, though. Right. Right. Uh, okay. I think we're good here. Want to start it up? Yep. And activating Molten Body XC. <sighs> you alright there, dude? Molten? I feel different somehow. Well, you have limbs, so... Yeah, well, you had, uh, arms before, but you actually have feet now, if that's even what it really is. You can stand up. I can stand. <laughs> it's gonna take you a minute. I'm not used to this. Yeah, that's fair enough. We also changed your eye color. My eye color? Well, the one eye you have left. Right. Uh, I, uh, the eyes that were little... sitting in your body, Solar took them out. No need for you to have, like, 20 eyes dotted around your body for no reason. I see. Thank you. But we changed yeah. your active eye to blue instead of a red. I like that color. Red? Blue. Oh, you didn't clarify, well, so... You want to try getting a feel for your... New body? I would. Try just I'm, walking around the middle thing. It might be a bit hard for me. Best way to learn is with practice. I, I see. Come on, baby's first steps. It might take a bit, but you can get used to it eventually. In terms of <laughs> what you're needing to learn how to do, it's like being a toddler. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's okay to fall. <sighs> You'll get the hang of it. There's nothing we can really do to help. I know that. Okay. <sighs> With what your body is, is the best we could do for the moment. I know. Thank you. I need to tell you something. What's up? His body. The materials is made out of is nothing like I've ever seen before. Yeah, I kind of figured that much. It's not steel. It's not titanium or anything like that. Tungsten, neither. Hmm. I don't know what the hell he's made out of, but he's not gonna break. I mean, that's good, I guess. Right, sounds good. My question is, uh, how the hell the creators make that? It was made from the council, so they had access to however many dimensions were a part of it. It's resources. Right. I wouldn't doubt if a portion of it is made out of dimensional matter. <laughs> that seems improbable. It does. But so did you coming back from the dead. Yeah, that's that's up there. That is up there. My legs are like jelly. Yeah, they'll be like that. You'll Your build wires up. are very malleable. You'll build up strong resistance. and thick enough. I don't know what either of you said. You first. You'll build up resistance to the tension. Yes, I believe I will. Must be different from crawling around on the ground. It is. It feels more... I don't know. Active? Different. It's just different. Hey, Molten. Uh, By chance, do you somehow know what you're made out of? I do not know the materials that are possessed within me, except that they are metals and some felt. Yeah, well, I could tell that was felt, but... Fair enough. Figured I'd ask at least. Okay. Have you been able well, to get any other system capabilities back? My motor functions are at, um, at maximum capacity. That's good. My vocabulary could use uh, sprucing up. The creators might not have thought I needed it. Shouldn't be hard to get you a dictionary update. Right. I mean, I just gotta download Webster's. Don't just do that. Why not? Just plug the internet into his brain? I mean, 
It gives him easy access. You're just gonna plug the base of the internet straight into his skull. I didn't say the internet, I said Webster's. And where does that lead to? If I give him access to one website, that is not the whole internet. Might as well be at his fingertips. He's a big boy, he can do whatever he wants. I would, I would rather not find. Well, you know what that is. That's disappointing. How do you... Hmm. I'm not gonna ask that question. I don't even want to know the answer to it. Yeah. <sighs> hmm. Anything else that you can think of system-wise that you might need? I don't think I need anything else. My coolant system has taken care of everything. What did you remove? Uh, besides the eyes, that's about it. Um, I mean, I squeezed some wires together rather tautly, but you're all pretty much the same. Yeah, I'm pretty sure your matters. Still, I don't, I didn't see any solar take anything off aside from the eyes. Did you need those eyes? No. I wasn't aware I had more. Oh. Might have just been parts they threw on. Probably, or he... They got stuck to him when he crawled over them. Uh, maybe. Or, uh, they didn't, they... Or maybe he was meant to actually use them, but they didn't they finish the in? code. They weren't really plugged in. Well, some of them were, but most of them weren't. Hmm. I think I remember thinking that... Don't you have uh, an ability to mask yourself? Mask? Like, myself? you can change your voice or look different. I can change my voice, but I cannot look different. Unless I have a suit in which I can mimic people in. Let's not talk about mimics. What? Uh, mimics. Don't know for that one time. Eh, I don't know what that That's is. That's fine. You're all fixed up. The question is now, what should we do with him? Um, huh. Can't I could just let him wander around. I mean... Molten, in terms of yes. self-defense, what are your capabilities? My capabilities of self-defense include arsenals, hand-to-hand -hand combat, defensive positioning, and I, I think... Mm. Okay. What do you mean by hand-to-hand -hand combat? I am very adequate with hand-to-hand -hand combat. As in, like, mixed martial arts, grappling, or... Yes. Okay, then. All right. Um... Ugh. Okay. Molten, I'll just be straight up with you. We don't know if we can just let you wander around because of the creator. I am hideous as well. Okay, I, I don't think that's well, what we were referring to. I think we can fix that. Fix it. I can't change your physical appearance. Your body's more of a endoskeleton just without a suit. We can put something over it. It's just a matter of finding something that can fit all that. We don't even need to do that. No? Holographic technology. We can just overlay something over a system. That's a bit too advanced even for something like this. We could just get a suit, throw it on. You act like I don't have that stuff prepped. How do you have that stuff prepped, then? Have you not been down into my other lab? I'd rather... not, actually. You have two labs on top of each other. Technically, yes. But also, that one it was kind of built around, you know, the magic pool. Yeah, the magic pool that you never told us about. Again, would have been lovely to. to have. But it was something I messed with before with holographic tech. I mean, it's also how I have that uh, monitor that works over there on the pillar. Hmm. All right. Uh, what Seems would you prefer to look like, Molten? Like a human or? I do not want to be human. I am not human. I am Molten. I know, but for the sake of you being able to explore the world. Do you want to be, uh, Freddy? I mean, that's what your base head is. That's what your head's based off of. I don't know. Okay. Um, your face model is pretty similar to Funtime Freddy, if I'm being honest. Minus the coloration change from, like, the purplish pink to char brown. Brown. Um, I can work with that. I think. Is there anything you really want to use? I don't have anything in mind. For now, would you like me to just... And it won't work on us, because we're machines. What? I, I, I don't know what you said. What do you... I did not hear either. It, it... The holographic tech won't work on us, because we're machines. Won't work? 
we'll be able to see you how you look right now. For humans, you'll look like whatever I set it as. Oh, you stupid. You mean to tell me that you built a holographic projection that can be invisible to the naked eye? Yeah. I did a lot of things with my free time. Are you are joking? What is this, Cecil? Don't know what that is. Yeah, you, you, wow, okay. But, uh, Cecil. For now. Oh my god. I'm the only one that's watched that show here, aren't I? To be fair, this city's pretty accustomed to animatronics just walking the street at this point. I mean, yeah, they are. It's just. <sighs> I don't, do you plan to leave the city? I don't plan to leave. You helped me achieve something more than myself. I owe you. You don't owe me anything. I do. Bolton, all you owe me is living your best life. Okay. So for now, I'm going to set the holographic projection to make you look like a Funtime Freddy model with a color variation. A uh, Funtime Freddy that's yellow, that's what, what, white and brown? Pretty much. Hmm. That does not sound like a very appealing color code. Yeah, if they could see what it looks like without the projection, I don't think he's appealing either. No offense. Thanks. You're welcome. I think he's starting to learn sarcasm. Yeah, he's hanging around us for the most part, so. More you particularly lied. me. What? You lied. Uh, about what exactly? You said you weren't a miracle worker. Oh. <laughs> uh, I, this, isn't, this isn't much better, Molten, I'll be honest. I'm gonna be honest, it what he did enough. is kind of just wrap your wires around like rope. Yeah, well, I taught them enough until you were able to actually function in a more proper manner. But it's enough. Thank you, Solar. Yeah, no problem. There you go. Your projection's on, Molten. So now any human won't be able to tell that you're an animatronic. Well, at least they can't tell that you look like this. Other animatronics might be a bit, uh... Wary. Difficult. Difficult? Well... They might be able to see through it. They can see through it. Just the humans that can't. Or demons or blue, probably, and such. Humans have a limited range of sight. Basically, I can tune you, you the holographic projection into that range of sight, and anything that can exceed that, like robots or extra-dimensional creatures. I'm aware creatures. of the cones that humans have. Basically, animatronics and other supernatural creatures can see beyond that, so they can see you as you are. I see. I don't know if this will work on the creator or not. I don't know if he even has eyes. But uh, something else that I guess. made sure was programmed into you was at least a cell phone. Or a program similar to one. It's, uh, think of it as a device that can call us. Here, I'll test it. Uh, you stand right there, Molten. I'll just step on the other side of this door. Okay. This is strange. Uh, you can click your finger on the uh, green icon. Okay. Hey, you figured it out. My system wasn't programmed for this stuff. Fair enough. I kind of had to cherry rig it, but for the most part, it yeah. should work. I see. AKA, Thank if you, you need to ask for help or anything like that. Have access to mine and solar and sun's phone numbers. If you need sun for some reason, it that basically sounds so you can't get a hold of me or solar. Also, assuming right. that since solar can hear me, I'm assuming you are inadvertently on speaker. Speaker. Uh, the little sound icon with the three waves. You click that, and it'll turn off, and you'll only be able to hear me. I like it loud. Okay, when okay. you're out in the street, it'd probably be best if you don't have speaker on. Probably not. I see. You can come back in, Moon. Yeah, I know. So, uh, with you being fixed, you didn't really answer our question. What do you plan to do now, Molten? I don't know. I feel like I have control of my life for once, and yet I don't. No. Yeah, that's fair. Um, okay. You mentioned before that you hate the creator. I'm not going to advise that you do anything involving him. Uh... I won't. Good. But he's 
gonna try and get a hold of you. Keep an eye out for a really giant gorilla robot. Not even a gorilla. I don't know what to call it. It's named it's Goliath. You'll know it when you see it. Gorilla. I understand. Creator might try to kidnap you to get information or something, something. From what we've been able to gather, that thing has an adaptive learning system. Anything that kills it, it can adapt to, so it's more resilient for the next time around. Strange. Not impossible, but it is strange. Yeah, it means the creator probably built it out of an adaptive metal. You just say adapt. What? Hmm. Oh, that makes a lot of sense, actually. What does? You might be made of the same material that our uh, gorilla friend is. Yeah, our problem. We weren't That'd able to something. decipher what metal you're made out of, because whatever you are, you're lightweight but durable. Incredibly durable. So more than likely, you're made out of the same adaptive metal, which would make sense since the creators wanted you to take care of problems. I can't have you dying to the same thing over and over again. That might explain why you're not really finished. You what need to does? Be. They didn't finish you because you didn't need to be finished. Your body would slowly mutate and adapt to the adaptive nature that you needed to overcome. Or kill. Yeah. So the reason you were a bunch of wires is probably because you hadn't died yet. So don't go dying, please, because I don't know how Goliath works. I will try not to. What else are you going to do, though? I mean, are you going to go out of the city, or...? No, I think I'll be around somewhere. Okay. Uh, somewhere? Let him be. Is it fine if I'm around where you work? You can't be out while the day is going on, but I guess you could probably hunker down somewhere in parts and service. Okay. Okay. Um, Wanna come with us? If that is alright. Sure. Uh, give me a second. Yeah? I'm getting the portal. Oh. Here. Parts and service. Come on. You'll get the hang of walking soon, promise. I already am. <laughs>